Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a no-bake Kit Kat chocolate cheesecake. Really easy to do. Again, no baking required, and there's no eggs in this cheesecake. If I can do it, you can do it. Before we move on, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Now let's get started. Down below in the description box, you'll find a list of the ingredients and their amounts. We want to take our butter, and this is six tablespoons of butter, and I'm going to melt this just until barely melted in the microwave. And then I have 32, roughly 32 Oreo cookies, okay? All right, and now I'm gonna put the Oreos in my food processor. You don't have to use a food processor if you don't have one. You can put the cookies in a bag, Ziploc bag, and then just smash it until it becomes crumbs. So you don't need to use a food processor, but food processors are pretty handy. And now I'm going to just pulse this a bit and get some crumbs. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna just push those down a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna take that melted butter. Again, six tablespoons of butter that I melted in the microwave, and you can do it on the stove top if you don't want to use the microwave. And if you weren't, aren't using a food processor, then just take those Oreo crumbs and put them in a bowl, and then pour the butter in it, and then you'll mix it by hand. Okay, like that. And it's gonna be nice and crumbly and damp. It's gonna look like damp, dark, damp sand. And now we are done with the food processor. Once we have those Oreo cookies blended up with, with the butter, I'm going to take this nine inch spring form pan and we'll pour these in there. And now we're going to start to spread it out, but we're not going to pack it down very heavily yet. Okay, so just kind of spread it out a little bit. And now it's time for the Kit Kats. So I have a bunch of Kit Kats here. And now we want to un or open these up. And then you're going to break them and put them Kit Kat facing outside. And just stick them down like that. Make sure it's up against, up against the wall. And make sure you are using clean hands, of course. Always use clean hands. So go like that all around. For a nine inch spring form pan, it winds up being about 40 to 42 of the individual Kit Kats. And then you, now you come in here and you wanna push down that base, Oreo cookie base, and smash it down really, really well. I like to use like a silicone spatula because it bends and it just makes it really easy to push it down. But you can use like the back of the spoon as well. Once the base is all packed down, put this in the refrigerator and let it chill while we make the filling. Time to make the filling. I'm gonna begin with a large bowl here and I'm gonna begin with one and one fourth cups of whipped cream or heavy whipping cream. And this will take a few minutes. We wanna beat it until it's nice and thick and we got some stiff peaks. All right, so when you pull out the beaters, there'll be nice little peaks there and they won't fold over and that's good. This is, whipped cream is good to go. And now I have 16 ounces of softened room temperature cream cheese. If you forget to set it out to soften at room temp, 
you can put it in the microwave on defrost mode for about a minute and a half and that should get it nice and soft for you. And now I want to mix this up and blend this up. Okay, just until it's almost completely blended. And then I have three fourths cup of powdered sugar, which is also confectioner sugar or icing sugar. And I'm gonna add that in. Just until incorporated, and then we can give the sides a good scrape as well. And now I have one and one fourth cups of chocolate chips. I'm using milk chocolate chips, but you can use dark chocolate or semi-sweet. And then I'm gonna melt this in the microwave. Um, burst of 30 seconds until it's nice and melted. But you can also do this on the stovetop with a double boiler method. Okay, until the chocolate is nice and melted like that. So I'm gonna pour this in here as well. And I'll give this a good mix. And now we can just get this out of the beaters and we are done with the beaters for now. All right, now we wanna fold in the whipped cream. So we'll just take some of it and we're just gonna fold it in. We don't want to really like beat it or st stir it a ton. You kind of go around the sides and then underneath it and up. And I'm gonna put the rest of this in there. Until it's nice incorporated and you don't see really any white whipped cream. And now that filling is ready to go. I'm gonna set that right here. And then we take out the spring form pan. And then we are going to pour this in there. And you wanna make sure that you don't kind of drizzle, drizzle it on the sides. So just be a little careful. Like that. Now we're gonna chill this in the refrigerator for four to five hours at least, or even overnight. On to that step. Once the no-bake chocolate cheesecake has been in the fridge for about four hours, it's time to make the ganache. And so I have two thirds cup of chocolate chips here and I'm using semi-sweet chocolate chips, but you can use milk chocolate or dark chocolate chocolate chips if you want. You can also use chocolate chunks. And what I'm gonna do is I have one half cup of heavy whipping cream and I'm gonna heat this up really hot in the microwave, about 30 to 40 seconds till it's really hot. Or you can heat it up on the stovetop in a pot and bring it up to a simmer. Once it's really hot, time to pour it over the chocolate. And now, just let it sit here undisturbed for five to 10 minutes. After about five to 10 minutes, you can come in here and you'll give this a stir. And you wanna really incorporate that chocolate with that cream. And at first it might seem like it doesn't wanna mix in, but just keep stirring and it will mix in just fine. And that is an amazing, simple chocolate ganache. All right, and now I took this out of the fridge, our no-bake chocolate cheesecake. And then I'm going to pour the ganache right on top. And then come in here and just spread it out all around. All right, back into the fridge it goes for another couple hours. So total time in the fridge is at least six hours, all right? Once the ganache is time to chill, it is pretty much done. We could leave it like this. And now you'll notice there is a, quite a bit of a gap there. Different things that you can do is you could actually trim the Kit Kats before you put them in so they are the same height as your pan, as your 
springform pan, or you could fill up the top with like M&Ms if you want, or do what I'm gonna do and we'll add some whipped cream and some mini chocolate chips on top. So I'm gonna put this back in the fridge while I make the whipped cream. So I'm gonna take one cup of heavy whipping cream and then we'll beat it until we get stiff peaks and then we'll add a couple other things. I'm gonna add in about a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And as I am beating, I'm gonna add in about a third of a cup of powdered sugar, confectioner sugar. Take it out of the fridge once again. Again, you can just leave it like this and it is ready to go, or we can do this step if you want. We can use a piping bag, or you can just take the whipped cream and just spread it on. Just depends, totally up to you. And then you can just pipe it on like that. And then we can add some chocolate chips on top. Again, so if you want it to fill all the way up, you can make more filling, or you can use a smaller spring form pan, use a eight inch instead of a nine inch, or just fill in the gaps with whipped cream or something else. So a lot of things that you can do with it. I'll leave that up to you. And there we go, it is ready to go. Pretty awesome. And then I'll just come in here and unlatch this. Remove that. And look at that. Pretty neat. And then to serve it, take your chef knife and we wanna heat this up really warm. So we're gonna, I'm gonna run it underneath really hot water and then dry it off and then it'll cut through this cheesecake really easy. Again, so it's a little trick, just heat it up. Just go down the middle here. Sometimes you gotta faint finagle with it a little bit. Yeah, and look at that. Awesome. And there we go. No bake Kit Kat chocolate cheesecake. Really easy to do, simple ingredients. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into this. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Mmm. <laughs> mm. So good.